The adrenal glands produce hormones to help regulate metabolism, the immune system, blood pressure, and they respond to stress. So there's no question they play an important role in keeping us healthy. Today, we're talking to registered dietitian nutritionist, Kristen DeAngelis, to find out how good lifestyle habits can help support the adrenal system. Kristen, let's start by defining exactly what the adrenal system is and what it does in the body. The adrenal system, we have to think of it as almost like our response to stress. All of that, our brain takes in and then it sends a message. It, it, the, the hypothalamus is the main messenger system that sends to the pituitary, that sends to the adrenal glands, which sit on top of the kidney and produce our main stress hormone, cortisol. The adrenal glands also produce other hormones. The main one that we'll talk about, however, is cortisol. We need it, we don't want too much, we don't want too little, and it varies uh, throughout the day, which is known as the circadian rhythm. What is it when you have adrenal fatigue? Is it adrenal dysfunction? So I actually prefer the word adrenal insufficiency or adrenal hypo or hyper functioning. Now, what that's referring to, are my adrenals pushing out too much, too much cortisol, that main stress hormone, or is it underfunctioning or adrenal hypofunction, insufficiency of not enough? When you said, you know, fatigue, it may be someone who's feeling exhausted, can't wake up in the morning. Um, they're feeling, um, you know, aches and pains. They have inflammation, water retention. All of that could be that insufficiency. Where on the flip side, they're feeling, you know, anxious all day long, but then when they get to the nighttime and they can't go to sleep, that would be more of a state of hyperactivity. All right, Kristen, let's talk nutrition. How can what we eat affect our adrenals? So I always like to start with the macro, the three macronutrients when it comes to um, balancing the adrenal system. The first is carbohydrates. Having adequate fibers in your diet is going to nourish the adrenals. Secondly, protein. Protein is going to balance out the carbohydrate or the fiber, um, which is going to help with blood sugar balance, which is very important for reducing inflammation in the body. Protein also contains um, B vitamins. So B vitamins are great for nourishing the adrenal system. So the third macronutrient would be our healthy fats, of course. So avocados, olive oil, again, the, the wild caught fatty fish, which is gonna be rich in our omega-3 anti-inflammatory fatty acids. It's really important for cell-to-cell -cell communication, which is uh, wonderful for the adrenal system. What kind of foods should we avoid? Anything that causes inflammation in the body. Foods that cause inflammation would be things like processed foods, added sugar. And what about lifestyle habits? What can we do every day to help support our adrenal system? It's walking. Walking outside, that is going to help to ground us, center us, and re-regulate and balance our central nervous system. So walking 20 to 30 minutes outside. A couple other things, meditation, mindfulness practices, how you start and how you end every day is gonna affect how you feel in between. The most important thing to think about with the adrenal system is what can I say no to? <laughs> how can I do less? Because that's really the state that we're in, a state of doing too much, and that's when the adrenal system starts to go on overdrive and causes a cascade of negative effects. Great information, Kristen. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want more healthy living inspiration or expert advice, just head to our website, livinghealthytv.com. So if you like this video and you want more living healthy, just subscribe to our channel. We're happy you're here.